Well, good morning, Central Texas and Brazos Valley. It's going to be another hot one out there, but I do want to mention yesterday we finally broke our streak. The streak is over for 35 consecutive days of 100 degrees. Yesterday, we were under 100 degrees over in Waco, about 99. So there's some good news there. Some relief is going to be on the way over the next couple days, but sadly, Maybe not for today. We are going to see temperatures close to about 100 degrees starting for our Sunday here. We do have some small rain chances in the middle of our week, which is some good news for us as well. And we could see some more 90s heading into the middle of next week. Let's take a look at the next couple of hours for you here, though, on your Sunday. Around 10 a.m., going to be in the mid 80s. Around noon, mid 90s. Around 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, that's where we're going to see our highs for today. Upper 90s and some areas in the triple digits like over in Waco. So still going to be hot out there, but we're still going to expect those temperatures to be a little bit cooler than what we've been seeing. So there is a win for us there. Taking a look at our future track, we saw a lot of cloud cover yesterday. Same kind of thing heading into our morning hours for your Sunday, but heading into the rest of our afternoon, we're going to expect a lot more sunshine coming through the area. That is until we head into the evening hours when we could get a couple of showers popping up, especially in the Brazos Valley area. But of course, if we do see any rain, it's going to be isolated and it's going to be short lived. Heading into Monday, same kind of thing. We're going to start off on the cloudier side and then plenty of sunshine in the afternoon hours. And we could even see some rain chances coming through the area west of I-35, especially also in McLennan County heading into our later evening hours. So we're going to keep an eye on that over the next couple of hours. But really any of this rain probably not going to be touching our drought here. Taking a look at our drought monitor, especially west of I-35, really not in great shape there. Extreme and exceptional rages for all of our counties. But taking a look at today a little bit closer, 100 degrees over in Waco later on this afternoon, upper 90s over in Bell County, 100 over in College Station. Later on tonight as well as tomorrow morning, mid to upper 70s, and then we're climbing right back into the triple digits, but it might not be uh, seeing those triple digits all throughout the rest of our week. Could see some days in the upper 90s, which would be a nice relief for us as well as some rain, so we'll keep an eye on it over the next few days.